Ramesh was a seasoned rickshaw driver in Varanasi, well-versed in the city's labyrinthine streets. On a particularly humid evening, after a long day of ferrying passengers, he picked up one last fare. The passenger, an elderly man with a peculiar aura, requested to be taken to a remote part of the city. Ramesh, eager to finish his shift, agreed. As they set off, the passenger mentioned a shortcut through an old, less-traveled road that would cut their journey time in half. Ramesh hesitated. The road in question was notorious for its eerie reputation, and locals often spoke of the old banyan tree along that route, a place rumored to be haunted. Tales of ghostly apparitions and strange occurrences were commonly shared among the drivers, but Ramesh, pragmatic by nature, had always dismissed them as mere folklore. The evening was transitioning into night, and a thick fog began to settle over the streets. Ramesh decided to take the shortcut, reasoning that the sooner he completed the fare, the sooner he could go home. The narrow lane, flanked by dense trees, was dimly lit by the occasional flickering streetlight. As they progressed, the usual city sounds faded, replaced by an unsettling silence, punctuated only by the soft hum of the rickshaw's engine. A chill ran down Ramesh's spine as he felt a strange presence, an inexplicable sensation that they were being watched. He glanced at his passenger through the rearview mirror, but the old man remained silent, staring into the distance with an unsettling calmness. The whispers began, faint at first, like the rustling of leaves, but soon grew louder, more insistent, in a language Ramesh couldn't comprehend. The air grew colder, and an oppressive atmosphere settled around them. As they approached the infamous banyan tree, the rickshaw's engine sputtered and died. Ramesh's heart raced as he tried repeatedly to restart the vehicle, but it remained unresponsive. The whispers grew louder, almost deafening, and the temperature plummeted further. He turned to his passenger, seeking reassurance, but the back seat was empty. Panic surged through him. The old man had vanished without a trace. Ramesh's breathing grew erratic as he scanned his surroundings. The banyan tree stood tall and foreboding, its twisted branches swaying gently despite the stillness of the air. Shadows seemed to move within the tree's dense foliage, taking on grotesque shapes that teased the edges of his vision. He felt a cold hand brush against his neck, causing him to jump and look around frantically. There was no one there. Desperate to escape, Ramesh abandoned his rickshaw and began to run. The whispers followed him, growing more sinister and accusatory. His footsteps echoed in the silence, creating an eerie rhythm that only heightened his terror. The fog thickened, obscuring his path and distorting the familiar landmarks. Every step felt like a battle against an unseen force trying to drag him back. He stumbled upon a small shrine, barely visible through the fog. The sight of the deity's serene face offered a momentary solace. Ramesh fell to his knees, praying fervently for protection. The whispers grew distant, and the oppressive cold lifted slightly. He took this as a sign and mustered the courage to continue. As he navigated through the fog, Ramesh found himself at the edge of the old road, the city lights flickering in the distance like beacons of hope. He ran toward them, his fear propelling him forward. When he finally emerged onto a familiar street, he collapsed in relief, gasping for breath. The whispers had ceased, and the oppressive presence was gone. Ramesh's ordeal didn't end there. The experience left him deeply shaken, and he found himself unable to drive past sunset. The locals, upon hearing his story, confirmed the haunted nature of the banyan tree. They spoke of a tragic accident years ago, where a family had perished under the tree, their souls never finding peace. The old man he had picked up was likely one of the restless spirits, seeking passage to the other side. Days turned into weeks, and Ramesh couldn't shake the memories of that night. Every time he passed the beginning of that old road, he felt an involuntary shiver. He began to leave offerings at the shrine he had found, hoping to appease the spirits. Word of his encounter spread among the rickshaw drivers, reinforcing the legend of the haunted shortcut. In the end, 
Ramesh's experience served as a stark reminder of the thin veil between the living and the dead, and the importance of respecting the unknown. The shortcut, once a mere road through the city, became a symbol of fear and caution, and though Ramesh continued his work, the memory of that foggy, haunted night stayed with him, a chilling testament to the horrors that lurk just beyond the edge of our understanding.